How you doing today, folks? Today, I'd like to go ahead and show you Heptacodium myconioides, or the Seven Suns flower. And behind me is a shrub that I planted probably about 10 to 12 years ago. And it was only maybe four to five feet tall when I planted it. And it's easily, uh, I'm gonna say it's about 18 to 20 feet tall right now. Seven Suns Flower likes to grow as a multi-stem shrub. Seven Suns Flower is gonna be in full bloom in August or September, and there's really not a lot of other things going on in the garden at that time of the year. It is just a deciduous shrub, but you could use it to screen a road, you could use it like in a shrub border, you could put like a single lawn specimen. That probably would keep it away from the foundation of the house because it's, a, it's, it's, it's just a little rugged looking. As far as fall color goes, you're not really gonna get too much fall color with your Seven Suns flower. It's, it's got like a yellowish color, but it's not like spectacular. It's, it's interesting, but not spectacular. Let's put it that way. So if you're growing the Seven Suns flower, it's mostly for those really cool uh, September, August flowers. Now the one other interesting thing about the Seven Suns flower is it does have exfoliating bark. So it's got kind of like, it looks like a crepe myrtle, you know, it's got like a stringy bark, you almost could peel it off, and that does also add some other interest. If you're looking for something away from the house, shrub border, specimen tree, give Seven Suns Flower a try. I think you're really gonna like it. Heptacodium myconioides. Garbage truck just came by. Final thing about Seven Suns Flower, and I think I mentioned is it's a very fast grower. So I would anticipate having to do 